Today I wanted to talk about drum tuning, specifically my kind of journey with tuning these Ludwig, old Ludwig standard drums. And I think most people, drummers and non-drummers included, almost think about tuning as some kind of complicated dark art and that you need to get some fancy gauge or dial to really tune in with your drums. And if that works, great. But really what I, the one tip I got, which has worked just lights out for me, and this is the one tip that you want to take from this video, is with these drums, they're a really great looking drum and they're great sounding, great construction. These are like three ply shells from the 60s. What I did, I just simply, every time I play these, I kind of detune them and I have everything, just the lugs loose. And then what I do is I just get them finger tight around. Now I take a drum key and I'll do about a quarter to half turn around each lug. And I have no idea how this is going to sound right now. I do have a general idea, but really it surprises me every time I do this because they sound so great. And I wish I would have known this tip when I first got these drums because it would have made life easier. So before I hit this drum, so you can hear, because I'm sure that's what you're kind of watching for, just talking about these drums, it's a Ludwig Standard. Uh, I believe these were made from 1969 to 1974. I believe it's maybe a CS standard, is, that's, that's what it's called. And really what it was, again, hearsay, I'm not a drum historian, I just know they're great drums. What I've heard from other people is that they were meant to be a student line, but they use the same kind of shells as their top end Ringo style kits. They just use lighter hardware. And why I really dig these, because A, they look great, um, but also they're really light, great for gigging around town. And I picked these up when I first came to town and I thought maybe I was gonna use these for jazzier, open, more open Americana stuff. And then I tried using this tip that somebody told me and it just changed everything. And why I tune them this way is because every engineer that's been in front of this kit, um, both live and in the studio, says it sounds great the way I tune them. They say all they need to do is just put up the mics and it sounds great, not a lot of EQing. So when, after I get these finger tight and I did, again, did some little tuning, just about a quarter to half on each lug, I'm just going to hit this drum and see how it sounds. And it sounds freaking great. So it's really thumping and it really cuts through. There's not a lot of like, you know, long overtones and singing, which I can do if I want, if I want to get something that's, that needs a little bit more of a touch. But these are great for doing rock gigs. Um, kind of more modern country gigs if I want to get that sound. Also for older school country gigs, I'll tune these up. But I use these in the studio for a blues rock session and the engineer said they sounded great. So really, Coded Ambassador, Power Stroke on, um, on the batter head of the kick drum and There's not a lot of tweaking, not a lot of black magic. It really takes me about five minutes to get these really sounding in tune. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my one tip. I've tried these on some other shells which don't sound quite as great or maybe are a little bit older, not well as maintained. And they don't work quite as well, but I've been posting about this kit on my Instagram and everyone likes it and they says that kit looks great and they want to know more about it. So I decided to post a little bit more in detail uh, description about how I tune this drum. So again, the one thing you take away from this, if you have a good set of shells, like a vintage Ludwig shell, just maybe detune everything, finger tight, a little quarter turn around it, and bam, it just sounds great if you're doing some really thumpy attacking music.